What is Alcoholics Anonymous uh, or AA? AA is uh, a fellowship of men and women uh, who are all trying to get clean, uh, meaning trying to get into recovery, to stop uh, alcohol or drug abuse. Uh, Alcoholics Anonymous was founded in 1935 by Bill Wilson and Dr. Bob Smith, um, who were the first ones, the pioneers, to realize that to, to get healthy, uh, to, to enter into recovery, there were some important things, and having each other was the main thing, connection between two people, speaking about their problems, realizing that they had a lot of uh, commonalities to their stories and shared goals. So they got it right and they knew it and published a book called The Big Book uh, many years later which is a describes what the 12 steps are and is like the rule book of how to, how to try to achieve uh, enduring sobriety. Total abstinence is not just uh, AA teaches that it's not just total abstinence, we need to have a change in our lifestyle as well. And so that's what they captured and what they got right, and that's why it's been so wildly successful since then. They were the only ones at the time. Uh, AA encourages people to get together, to have a sense of community, which is important because in alcoholism or drug addiction, we tend to be isolated and separated from our loved ones and friends. I personally enjoyed going out to 12-step uh, meetings uh, my favorite parts really were before the meeting and after the meeting. Uh, where I had a chance to meet with other people, hang out, talk. And then during the meetings itself, it's, um, it's just laid back. It's people sharing their stories if they want. There's no pressure. Um, there's a lot of pain, a lot of tears, generally. Uh, the more I learned that the more I share, um, they, they say share like, you, share like your life depended on it. And I found that hitting the truth, explaining what I was going through, the most painful things, helped me. Uh, this is over hundreds of meetings over several years and it also helped other people. One of my favorite things about AA was, and this goes back to the beginning, the story from Dr. Bob and Bill, is that they sought out other people. They realized that their conversation where they had with each other, uh, that connection that two people had who were going through a difficult time, that's where the magic of this program is. And it's not necessarily just AA, it's any, it's just human uh, contact, being with other people, people who have experienced pain like I have. It makes it a lot easier. It feels welcoming and comfort, comfortable. And so they sought out uh, more members and they actually went from uh, hospital to hospital way back in the 1930s seeking out people who were, who were also had reached rock bottom and were ready to start helping themselves. So it's kind of funny how they realized that they need to by helping each other, they had to reach out and speak to other people. And so this is a part of step 12. So they were actively seeking in the hospital other uh, alcoholics at the time. I found that amusing. Um, the other thing about the 12 step programs is the spirituality. And I just want to touch on the spirituality. A lot of people are afraid of this and must believe in a higher power or believe in God. I mean, this is what deters a lot of people, and I am—I consider myself a scientific, objective person. I am a physician, but it is quite possible to believe in spirituality, uh, of and avoid the the big religions. The, uh, Twelve-step programs has nothing to do with religion; it has to do with spirituality. So, for me personally, my own way of approaching it is, yeah, I think there's a greater power out there. It could be uh, extraterrestrials, it could be uh, UFOs, it could be. Uh, the Inca uh, civilization, the Egyptian civilization, but my personal take on that is that the power of people. I find that when I'm in a room of people and we're talking about important things, like something happens where I feel goosebumps when I have that sense of connection to other people. We become the sum, we become larger than the sum of our parts. We become more powerful than each individual by sharing information. So for me, the spirituality or higher power is, is looking at the importance and um, powerful, the, the, sorry, looking at the importance and power of people. So that is what I consider to be the higher power, is other people.